I want to pick up uh, a little bit more on the issue of immigration and the immorality, not just of Donald J. Trump's position, but of the position of the entire Republican Party on that issue, because they've all uh, been, to one extent or another, restrictive about immigration. They've become a very reactionary party in that area, among others. Now, they also claim to be terribly concerned about the economy and about the federal deficit. Now, immigration is a moral issue, especially refugee immigration, so it's not a, really primarily about economic arguments, but even on economic grounds, you know, they tell us we can't afford to help people from other countries or admit people from other countries. And there, as on so many other grounds, they are absolutely wrong. As we first reported here in September, there was an interdisciplinary task force convened by the National Academy of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. It concluded that, quote, immigration has an overall positive impact on long-run economic growth in the United States. That means we are all better off when we encourage rather than discourage immigration. So why are not just Donald Trump, but virtually all the Republicans discouraging it? You tell me. Could it have something to do with the nature of the kind of people that are immigrating nowadays? Well, we report, you decide. And what about refugees? We keep being told that we can't afford to help the refugees whose lives have been ruined, by the way, by the disastrous policy of George Bush and other Republicans, uh, especially in the Middle East, of course. People who are fleeing political oppression and certain death usually do need some help when they arrive. Surely we can't afford that, right? Well, it turns out we can, even if you accept their kind of zero-sum thinking of the economy, which really you shouldn't. A new working paper from the National Bureau of Economic Research finds that over their lifetimes, refugees pay more into the government in taxes than they take out in services when they first get here. And that's over their first 20 years in the United States, refugees who arrived as adults, age 18 to 45, uh, did more for the government in terms of tax contributions than they took out when they needed help. That means if you're obsessed about the deficit, as Republicans claim falsely to be, by the way, but if you are, you should be looking for ways for us to accept more refugees, not less. But most of all, you should be doing it because it is the right thing to do.